Sometimes, it can be hard to separate fact from fiction when evaluating a source of information on the web. Whether you're scrolling through social media or searching for an article for a research paper, how do you make sure that the content you're reading contains trusted, credible, and reliable information? You might start by going through a mental checklist. Is it a .com or a .org? Are there typos? Is it professionally designed? Does the author cite footnotes? This is a great way to get started, but maybe we need some additional evaluation. Anyone can design a web page to make it look appealing and professional. Also, some .coms may have reliable information, while some .orgs may contain false or misleading information. That's why, as critical thinkers, it's good to have an additional set of skills to help us navigate the web for trusted content. Next time, try out SIFT, a quick and simple approach to evaluating web content. But what is SIFT? SIFT stands for Stop, Investigate the Source, Find Better Coverage, Trace Claims, Quotes, and Media Back to Their Original Context. Let's go through each of these steps in more detail. The first step is stop. When you initially arrive at a web page after reading the headline, refrain from reading the content. Instead, ask yourself questions such as, what kind of content is this? When was it published? Who is the author? And who published it? Asking yourself these kinds of questions will lead you to step two, investigate the source. This is where you start to answer some of the questions you asked yourself at STOP. You might look up the author of the content and who it was published by. It's important to know what you're reading before you read it. If you're reading an article about climate change written by an environmental scientist, it's probably an important fact to know. Likewise, if you're reading a blog post about the benefits of milk consumption written by a dairy company, that would be also good to know. It's not as if the environmental scientist will always be right or that the dairy company can't be trusted, but rather, it gives you further context on the expertise and the agenda of the source. If it's hard to determine the credibility of a web page at this point, you should move on to step three, find better coverage. Browsing through more trusted sources to obtain the information you seek might help you answer your research questions more effectively or arrive at a general consensus among multiple sources. You don't have to agree with the consensus, but reading more about a topic or claim from other sources might help you better evaluate it. And finally, there's step four. Trace claims, quotes, and media back to their original context. There might be a chance that content on a web page has been stripped of its original context. If essential information is not included, it will impact your perception of the content and what it claims is true. Maybe there's a video of an argument between two people, but what happened before the argument? Who started it? What was clipped out of the video and what stayed in? Or maybe there's a picture that looks fake, but the caption says it's real. Is it real or is there essential information missing? There's a lot of re-reporting that happens online. To make sure the version of what you are reading or watching is accurate, it is sometimes necessary to find the original source to determine its credibility. And there you have it. Evaluating web content for reliable information is easier using SIFT. Stop. Investigate the source. Find better coverage. Trace claims, quotes, and media back to their original context. If you need additional help, librarians are available over chat, email, phone, or text. Or you can visit the library for in-person assistance. 